Okay, uh, I'm just going to do a video on my new camera, which is this one. Um, this is my Fuji. Um, I don't remember which one it is. I have a book here. It's either the S5700 or the S700, and I don't know which model it is. Um, but this is actually a, a very good camera. I'm very happy with this camera. Um, it has a 10x zoom on it. Um, it actually has a very nice big screen on the back. Um, I think it's like a 3 inch diagonal screen. So this is my second Fuji. Um, first one I dropped and the shutter wouldn't open. Um, and this one has a little larger screen. It's very easy to use. I think it takes very good pictures, very good um, video. Um, it's another point-and-shoot camera. Um, it's got all your settings up on top. And uh, it's a great camera. What happened was, um, as I've mentioned before, when we went on the Puffin Cruise, my sister has a Nikon camera that has a 36x zoom. And uh, she was able to get some pretty cool shots of the puffins. So Honey actually started researching um, the cannons, and um, we came up with this one. This is the um, SX40 HS, and it was like a step up from the SX30, um, which was supposed to. This one is supposed to offer better uh, low light capabilities. Um, as you can see, it is a bit bigger than the Fuji. Um, I saw one video where a guy said, oh, it's really handy, throw it in your bag. Well, you know, it's not exactly a throw it in your I don't think. I'm a woman, and I wouldn't exactly throw this in my pocketbook. Maybe I don't carry a big enough one. I don't know. But, you know, it is bigger than my Fuji. Uh, but this has a 36x zoom on it. Um, and I did buy a wide-angle lens, which I haven't even put on yet, um, and a telephoto lens. Uh, the screen on this one is probably is smaller than my Fuji. I think this might be a 2.7 inch screen. Uh, here shows you uh, the size of it. Um, but like with Honey's camera, the availability to flip that around and take a shot this way um, is really kind of cool. I can now take a picture of myself. <laughs> Watch out world. Um, I'm still obviously learning. I just got it yesterday, so there's a still a lot to learn on this camera. Um, like I don't know yet how to change to the viewfinder. <laughs> I was just out taking a couple pictures. The one neat quality on this one is it has a, a button here that you can um, start a video recording without having to change this dial up here. So you can be on an automatic setting taking still shots and then decide you want to take a video just press this button to do that um, so I think for I just it is another point-and-shoot camera um, and uh, I'm kind of excited about uh, what it's going to be able to do so we shall see those are the two um, taking this video with my little Nikon Coolpix um, that I bought refurbished um, and it's been a great little compact camera that I keep in my car I've been keeping in the glove compartment um, so that I always have a camera with me um, so there we go as you will see if anyone's watching this there are a lot of YouTube videos on this camera so I think it must be a pretty popular one um, I've been watching some of those to uh, help me learn the camera a little bit better. So, here we go. Step up in the world. Thanks for watching.